Yo, yeah, what's up guys, it's Gizzle here, and today we're back at it again, once again, with some Call of Duty Family Friendly 2 YouTube if you're listening. We're just talking about a video game by the name of Call of Duty World War 2. So, we got new information, and we know a little bit about the pack punch, we know a little bit about the guns, mystery box weapons, and shit like that, and it's coming from... PlayStation blog and I read the first sentence and I sat down right I actually sat down like I'm sitting down right now I actually sat down I thought to myself this is gonna put a lot of my homeboys to sleep So you know what I gotta make a video I gotta talk about it We gonna read this together it's gonna be alright So as you guys can see and while you're seeing this thing hey if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe And let me know that too in the comments so I can feature you in my next video But hey this says first details Call of Duty World War 2 Zombies over Q&A with Sledgehammer Games reveals new info on their new gruesome Take on Call of Duty Zombie, and hey, you guys can see. And this was posted by Sid. Doesn't matter, right? Doesn't. Oh no, he's a director. <laughs> Shit matters, alright? Shit matters. Ever since 2008 Call of Duty World at War, I've hugely appreciated the Zombies co op mode that has evolved into a series staple with Sledgehammer Games taking the reins for Call of Duty World War 2. I've been dying to learn how this talented studio will innovate on one of the most popular cooperative shooters in history. This is an especially important question since some of Sledgehammer's founding members were responsible for the horror classic Dead Space, so we tossed a batch of questions at Call of Duty World War 2 Zombies lead John Hursley, senior director at Sledgehammer Games, to learn what the studio is up to. Read on to get first nitty gritty details on Call of Duty World War 2 Zombies mode. Straight from Sledgehammer, yeah, totally. PlayStation Block, Call of Duty Zombies has always been about four player cooperative wave based combat. Just to set expectations, can we expect the same basic premise behind Call of Duty World War 2? Family friendly zombies John Hursley say yes the mode is focused on exciting for player cooperative combat against waves of increasingly deadly zombies the wording goodness gracious Call of Duty World War 2 zombies mode is grounded in a gritty horrifying setting based on World War 2 and we take things to terrifying new levels the approach is of course rooted in the studio's horror background so it was a lot of fun to develop this new experience our goal was to make this uh, the most terrifying zombies experience we've ever created PS B says, in the trailer, or rather ask, in the trailer, we see a clock tower, sewers, and laboratory. Will players explore the three of these levels? And John says, zombies will take place in a quiet Bavarian village in Germany. In the later years of World War II, players will be transported to a horrifying corner of the town where bloody sewers, evil laboratories, and ancient tombs will reveal their dark secrets. And you guys can see, it's an immersive thrill ride and developing the canvas and the environment the player is immersing was a fun challenge for our team. PSB asks, the trailer hints at different types of zombies. How far is Sledgehammer Games or Sledgehammer going in this direction? And John says, in our story, the Third Reach has built an army of the dead in a last ditch attempt to save the war effort. Interestingly, these zombies retain some of the discipline and purpose of the soldiers they once were. That is very interesting. Each zombie type fills a specialized role as well. There are flaming zombies and running zombies. For example, and they will give you serious problems if you get cornered. It will take a ton of strategy and teamwork to survive the varied undead soldiers in this mode. Teamwork, communication, and a level base will be key. And you guys can see. Uh, and PSB asked once again, the trailer showed a saw blade, which got us thinking. Can players use the environment to their advantage? And John says, there are a variety of structures built by the enemy to subdue and constrain the undead. A resourceful player can turn the tables and use their engine of death against them. And saw blades are just the beginning. There are numerous ways to trap and kill your enemies. The environment can be a great ally if you know how to leverage it. Hey, very spicy. PlayStation blog as previous Call of Duty zombie modes have offered experience for both hardcore and casual fans. How are you looking to challenge players here? But John says, we introduce and guide new players, but also cater to the hardcore zombie fans as well. We're offering new challenges and additional layers of gameplay. For players looking below the surface, there will be many secrets and rewards to uncover beyond what they would expect. Actually, there will be no guide on the journey. Never, never, please, what? <laughs> there will be no guide on the journey. Hardcore players will need to find their own path, their own way. Good luck with the hard exclamation mark at the end. PSBS, the announcement trailer showed a cage. What's in it? John says that cage contains a special machine constructed by the family friendly and it's designed to make their weapons deadlier. But there is something else there which players will need to discover for themselves. And PSBS, how will players upgrade, aka pack a punch, 
their weapons and John says players can upgrade their weapons in a variety of ways, one of which is via the special machine aka pack punch machine, we already know it, hidden in the level. There are other ways too, but it's too early to get into all that fun stuff and I'm assuming there's gonna be a gobble gun system with it, hopefully something new and different, but hey we gotta wait and see. But it's kinda like interesting where it says in a variety of ways, meaning more than one or maybe even more than two, hopefully more than two, so it's gonna be really really good, but PSBS will perks make an appearance here and John Zyla will provide rewards and upgrades to players, some of which will be temporary, maybe gobble guns, that's maybe something John is talking about, and others permanent like my perk machine for sure. Players will recognize these upgrades but they will be presented in a new and interesting way that make them feel like part of this terrifying world. Mm. And lastly PSBS has the mystery box evolved, what about the monkey bombs? We have so many questions and John said you'll have to wait until November to find out, though there are hints in the trailer for those with keen eyes. And ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for you. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video, check out some other videos on the screen if you haven't missed any of them, subscribe if you happen to be new, and smash a like if you did enjoy this video, and hey, I'll see you very freaking soon.